Power is being restored to customers across the state as Central Maine Power works to clean up the wreckage from Thursday's storm. Good evening, everyone. I'm Samantha York. Hannah Deneen has the night off tonight. At last check, there were more than 12,000 CMP customers without power and nearly 600 Emera customers still in the dark. Cutting trees, stringing lines, and restoring power. It's been tolling on hundreds of crews over the past three days. As CMP CEO Doug Hurling tells New Center Maine's Clay Gordon, Gordon. It was able to look back on past storms to streamline repair efforts. Nor'easter on Thursday, Wednesday night into Thursday. From your perspective, how did it go? We've already put 200,000 customers back on. I'm very pleased with the efforts that uh, have happened uh, up to this point. What kind of preparations did you guys do to kind of get ready for the next big one? maybe not even knowing that it was this week. We had two really guiding principles that we've learned from storms past that we really implemented on this uh, storm here. Number one, the first part of the storm was clearing the roads for emergency vehicles. The other thing is communicating early to customers. We got out on the first day of the storm to let the coastal communities know that they would be without power for multiple days. And right now we're striving to keep that information updated. I like this. We've heard from a couple customers that they think it's taking a while. What do you say to those people? We apologize for the inconvenience that this is causing, but as you can see behind us right now, there's a tremendous amount of damage out there. Doug, I have to ask too, a lot of people are super critical with their bills at this time. What happens during a storm like this when there's outages for hundreds of thousands of people? Or do you, are you freezing bills at this time or will you take that into a, uh, effect? So everybody, whether you're an accountant or, or an, a lawyer, you're focused on this storm effort right now. So we don't even take phone calls on other issues. Uh, in fact, we closed our business lines for customers to be able to focus on this. This is our top priority to get customers going.